Hey, what's going on, guys? For our show 56, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some more Minecraft. And today we are going to be looking at the secret heads in the armor stands in the new lobby. I think this is a title update 51. I'm not too sure on me. Right, sure on that. And um, the reason I'm not doing the music disc is because I don't know all of them yet. And by the way, I, I did look some of these up. I did find some of the music discs, and I did find two of the armor stands, and I did not find any of the heads. So, yeah, I looked up the heads, uh, some of the music um, discs, and some of the armor stands. But, yeah, out of all of that, out oh, wait, what? I just said that wrong. Uh, that's all out of the way. I'll probably make a video on the music discs. I'm not too sure on that. Uh, probably, I think there's like 12 found, um, but somebody hasn't found the 13th. So yeah, I'll, I'll be looking through that, but yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, and uh, let's move on to the armor stands. Okay, so the armor stands are first up, and uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this, um, I did make a, a video on this last time in the old lobby, um, with the head, so, um, yeah, if you don't know how to, well, I mean, you shouldn't, I mean, you could check it out to see the old lobby, but yeah, okay, so, the way how you get the first armor stand, and we're gonna be looking at, um, leather, chain, pumpkin, um, gold, diamond, and iron as well. Now, you might be wondering, what the freak is pumpkin? Well, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So, as you can see, you walk from here. So, go from the little spawn area. Oh, I've, I accidentally fell. Give me a second. <clears throat> you go from here. And you go here. You go to the one that does not have a pressure plate. So, this one. No, this one has nothing. I must. Yeah. It just has this stuff. And you don't want this one. And y you don't want that. You want the one that has no pressure plate and you have the creeper painting you go up and you find leather here and you uh, step on the pressure plate because you actually can go through the dispensers and um yeah that's leather so i'm gonna take this off and we're gonna move on to chain chain is like on the other side uh so basically you go to the right and you're gonna see those um the little trees here but we, and you're gonna see that but what you don't know is that right here is the chain yes i did not look this one up um i did not look up the leather one as well um but yeah that's chain so it's like near these little slime um pad things and like to the right of the fountain so yeah, well, i'm gonna take this stuff off and we're gonna move on to um iron and gold actually no no sorry pumpkin so this kind of leads on to another thing so what you want to do is you want to come outside of the little area that we were at first you might have seen this during where i was getting the leather but if you come right here, you can see a little lever, you want to flick that, and you might be thinking, oh, what, what did, what did that activate? So if you come inside and go to the right door, you can see that this iron door is open. Now, if you come down here, I'm going to see a bunch of paintings and stuff, and uh, you can't really jump through. And there's a water bucket up there, that's for later. But if you go through this painting exactly, you can get the pumpkin. Now, this is supposed to just be a, a little one, and... Uh, do I mention, um, that every single, um, uh, minigame, you will have this pumpkin head on, so just be aware of that, and, um, yeah, that's the pumpkin. We're gonna move on to iron and gold now, because they're right next to each other, so I'll show you. Okay, so what you wanna do is you have to go to the right of this, and then you have to, pa uh, go past these buttons, past the library, well, it's in the library, basically. So, as you can see, right here and right here. It's empty, and you've come up here. There's gold, and there we go. There's iron. So the way how you get gold is you press this button. The thing will drop, and um, and there's some pressure plates, and now it's on. And now how do you get the iron dropped is you come outside um, next to your library, and you plunk that down, and you can see it's down. Now, what does that do? Anything? You can't pick them up. Well, if you go to the one next to it, you can see that. So this was not this, this was up. Now it's not, and as you can see, walk through, and get gold, and why I take the, all of this off, and I just throw this on the ground, um, as you can see, bam, I get iron as well, so, um, yeah, we're gonna move on to diamond now, so, yeah, 
Okay, so the last one is diamond. Now, the reason I can't show um footage of like me showing you getting it is because the way how you do it is you have to win either battle, tumble, or glide, and you will spawn up there. And there's some ladders you can climb up, and you can get um another music disc. And on on top of that, you can get the diamond gear. Now, the reason I can't show gameplay right now, which I mean I would, but everyone I try to do um on um public match is uh freaking leaving the game like i was beating this one guy just another guy and then i i, I host left the game i got three wins in a row all, all it was like 10 seconds left until i i can get up there the guy who dies leaves the game so are you freaking kidding me let's so, see yeah just just a little heads up um do this with your friends none of my friends are on right now so Sucks to be me, but yeah, uh, we're gonna move on to the heads now, and you're gonna see something a little bit special during that part. Okay, so these are the heads, and the first thing you're gonna need to do before you get any of these is you're gonna need a bow just for one, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna do the easiest to the hard one. Um, so first what you have to do is you have to... <clears throat> Go up here. Now, this is the best, easiest thing. You're going to, like, shoot a button up there. Um, but <clears throat> I say if you suck at bows and stuff, you can come up here. I'm just going to do this fast because um, I don't want to take a minute trying to shoot this thing. So, after you shoot that, <clears throat> you're going to see a skeleton pop up. I want to try to get another one. Give me more. I want more. Um, so, yeah. After you um, don't do that uh, and spam it. Um, you're gonna go down here and go and collect your skeleton skull. Yeah, you want it only. And you can put it on, you can do anything, you, you, you can do stuff. <clears throat> now we're gonna go and get the wither skeleton skull. Now this one is really easy, plus it's a little bit cool because you gotta go into the nether. So you're gonna pass the docks, and you're gonna jump up here, go over here, and then it's like, wait... How do I get to the nether? Well, actually, you have to go up these stairs, and then you're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. And then you're going to press this button, or not button, you're going to go through the hole and then press it, and then it's going to make a weird sound, and you're going to walk right through the nether. And you're going to drop down, so it doesn't really matter, and you're going to drop down. Um, and you're going to go through here, and you're going to pick up your wither skeleton, and I don't know why Liano keeps texting me, but okay. Um and uh you're gonna come back out and you're gonna go up the stairs like we did and um yeah so that's how you get out of the nether and how you get in but um so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the oh i fell uh now we're gonna do is the creeper now this one's the most tedious one to do because you have to run to both sides so you're gonna back up the stairs and you gotta keep going i'm so glad this wasn't ladders but um you're gonna keep going you're gonna keep going blah 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 and then you're gonna see this pressure plate. Now what you have to do is place anything on it or you could just shoot it um, and that will be good. So you got the first one down and then you need the second one to activate. So we're gonna go over here. And um, jump up here, go over here and then you're gonna go up to the trees and jump over here and um, harm, just activate this area real well. Th 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 that's good over there, that's good over there. But yeah, but anyways, um, you're gonna go up here and then you're gonna go up, way up, there you go, yep, here you go, yep, 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 yep. Um, and then you're gonna find another pressure plate on the other side. And by the way, this is the diamond area, so I'm not lying. And I don't know where the diamond stuff is. Where the frick? It, it, oh yeah, I think it's downstairs. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> uh, you're gonna go back down here and pick up that chest. Um, you're gonna go down. You're gonna, if you hear fireworks, and that means you did do it, but I'm not too sure on that. But I'm pretty sure you did. But um, anyways, you're gonna come here. And you're going to go right here with the little slime blocks, right? And you're going to find the creeper head. So, yeah, that that's that's one good thing, I guess. Now, we're going to do the zombie head, and this one's not too hard, actually. So, what you have to do is you want to come here. And you want to make sure this one, the diamond sword is to the right. And, by the way, we're getting Steve head. This, you don't move, okay? You don't move. And then this one, you go into the opposite, so it's looking at the top left. Now, this one, I speculated. Okay, so, look at this. It opens, okay? Oh, oh yeah, that's how you get Steve. No, no, what? Where's the Steve head? Where the frick is the Steve head, you may be asking. Well, I actually didn't know this, and I figured that one out by myself. I don't need any internet. 
how does that work? Like, what the frick, man? You expected me to waste, like, six hours of my life just to, uh, like, and I had to look up the Steve one. But anyways, we're gonna do the final one, and that is the zombie one. This is the literally, I think the 30th easiest, because the fourth one is the creeper, and that's super dangerous. But, um, all you have to do is just click these buttons really fast, and if you don't do this, then, um, um, uh, David Vonderhaar will come to your house. No, I'm just joking. You have to do this really fast, and then... Are you kidding me? I had it opened. Um, what you have to do from here is you want to activate and, like, press all of them really fast. Now, if you just press them normally, um, it won't work. And I don't know if this is, um, part of another Easter egg for, like, any other one, but... Yeah, so we're gonna need this, um, zombie head. And, um... There we go, there you get, you get the zombie head. And now, this is the special part of the video, okay? Now, but I, when I mean special, I mean special. So what you have to do is come over here in front of, um, the front of spawn, and then you have to just click that lever, okay? Click that lever, it's pretty simple, just the lever. You're gonna go through here, and you're gonna walk down these stairs, go over here, and this is where we found the pumpkin, but we don't want that. We, we want to see this. Now, this water bucket does not change at all, and it's to the bottom right always. So just keep that in your brain, and you don't even have to open up this bar. But if you're um, new, um, and you're going to do this. So what you have to do is come up here, go on top of the dining, and then you can change it to the bottom. Now, you don't hear anything. It's because it's really silent, and then there's a door and bricks in front of it. But it's going to open up these doors, and what you have to do... Now, this is the cool part, okay? So this... Is gonna drain the fountain. Yep, I know it's crazy. So you drain the water from every existing th uh, water source that's on here, and now it's uh, all gone. Now, what does this have to do with anything? Well, my friends, if you click this lever, there's a secret area, and get ready, cause it's the old lobby. Yes, that you heard me correctly, the old lobby. Now, what are we doing back at the old lobby? Well, there's a th there's the iron soy over there and the um, a Mr. Mu music disc over there. No, okay, no one cares about that. There's also a lever uh for the um nether. But anyways, what you have to do is you have to go to this chest and you can see dragon heads and you might be thinking, well, I want that dragon head. Well, what do I do? So you see all these heads, okay? They they abducted it. You have to put each and every skull until all of them light up. So that's. And then, and then that one, and then, and then all of them open. Now, there's two ways of going there, there, that one, and, hold on, that one, and I'm just gonna go through this one. And you go through here, it doesn't matter which side you take, you see the, it, and you get the dragon head. So, yeah, it's actually really cool, and you got a dragon head, and those are all the heads in the game, um, and I don't know if they're gonna add any more heads in the game and then make a new lobby and add more heads. But, um, yeah, it's really cool how they did this and it's abandoned. So, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're on your channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!